Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. Let me get there. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right. Verse 22 says, Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. And all, almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. So my subject tonight, I'd like to use one drop of his blood. Hallelujah. Just one drop. It didn't take all of it. It took one drop for the shedding of for the remission of sins, for, for the forgiveness. The only way we could get forgiveness is through the blood. Amen. Only the blood of Jesus can forgive us and cleanse us and washes us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I was just thinking, you know, I had so many things going through my mind about what I wanted to, to, to minister on, so I had to pray about it. And I heard this thing, I heard this thought in my, in my spirit say, one drop of his blood. I said, that's it right there. Right there. We don't understand. We got to realize how precious that blood was. It was just something he bleed, just bled, but it was something he had, it had a, um, a mission behind that blood. Lord. Amen. Amen. So it says here, for the remission of sins, I mean, for the, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. There's no forgiveness. Hallelujah. Go to Luke chapter uh, 22. Luke chapter two, 22. One drop of his blood. Now, Luke 22, and we'll read from verse 41 through verse uh, 44. Ready? And as he was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And there appeared an angel to him from, the, from heaven, strengthened him. And being in, in agony, he prayed more earnestly. And his sweat was, as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. So we see here, Jesus when he prayed. And notice he said, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass from me. Y'all got to remember now, Jesus was in the, in the flesh. He was in the flesh. He came in the flesh. But his flesh didn't want to go through that because he saw what he had to do for us. Yes. And it was a whole lot. <laughs> yes. Jesus was a man. He could handle it. Amen. Amen. But he said, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. And he said, Father, it's too much for me to handle. See, Jesus was out of the will of the Father. He was out of the will of the Father. But he got back into the will because we... He got to realize what his mission was. That was his purpose to come here and to do what he did. So he said, Father, not my will, but your will be done. I thank God that he let, he let God's will be done. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 See, sometimes we want our will, but we don't want to do the Father's will. See, in the garden, that's where man lost his, he lost his righteousness. And he lost his right standing with God in the garden. And also in the garden, man lost his willpower to do what is right. He lost his willpower to do what is right. He lost it. So that's why Jesus came, and when he was in the garden and he shed his blood, he won our will back. Because you hear people say, I, I don't have the will. I was you know, a work guy said, I, I don't have the willpower to quit smoking. But he don't realize, well, if he realize what Jesus had done for him, Jesus brought his will back because he can, he can do that thing. But because of our will, many times we want to do our will, but we don't want to do God's will. That's why we get in trouble. See, we're here for a mission, too. <laughs> we are here for a mission, too. We're on a mission. Yes, we're on a mission. Hallelujah. It's not about us. It's about him. It's about his will to be done. Upon this earth. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But it was one drop of his blood. Because the one drop brought back our, our will, power to do. 
Because Philippians 4.13 says what? I can do. I, I can do. You can do. Ain't no such thing you cannot do, but he said you can do. All things through Christ who strengthens you. Because it's through his strength and his ability and his might that you can do it. And not only that, because of that drop of blood, he said, you can do it. Because of that drop, that drop, that drop, hallelujah. You know, it was that drop. You know, y'all wasn't hearing me say about my testimony. I mean, I, don't, I, I really don't care if I don't get tired here. I'm, I'm, I'm always here. See, because you know what? I got to up the date. <laughs> testimony. Some of them had no, no testimony since 1959. They're still following that same old, old thing since 1959. And if they happen new today, but it was because of that blood that saved me. From 2010 of October to 2011 October and to 2012, it was, the, it was the one drop of that blood that saved me, that kept me alive. When the devil was trying to take me out. But because of the blood, the blood covered me. The blood, the blood protected me. The blood washed it over me. Just like it's doing you, it's doing you right now. It's watching and protecting over you right now. Because of one drop of his blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. One drop of that blood that brought you through, you all through a lot of trials and tests, temptations, trials, and whatever the thing that you, hardships, and uh, whatever you went through. The, the blood, the blood, the blood brought you through. We got to keep our mind, our eyes on the blood. When you broke, the blood. <laughs> when you're sick, the blood. When you're discouraged, the blood. When you're disappointed, the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Go to Galatians 3.13. Galatians 3.13. Hallelujah. Yeah, when I was studying this, I said, Lord, thank you. I mean, it's all the time it was the blood that did it for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for the blood. Thank you, Lord God, for the blood. Thank you, Lord God, for the blood. Thank you for the blood, Lord God. It was the blood that saved us, Lord God. It was the blood that delivered us. It was the blood that redeemed us. We thank you for the blood, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Galatians 3.13. It says, Christ had redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, cursed the one that hangeth on the tree. Now, I like to take the word personal because it's a personal thing. Because it is. When Jesus died, he died for you. He died for the world. Yes, he did die for the world, but he did it especially for me. And I'm thank God that he died for me and that he shed his blood for me. Everything he did was for me. Even though it was for us, but I take it personal because he did it just for me. Because if he hadn't done what he did, I don't know where I would be right now. Probably be pushing up daisies somewhere, you know. Yeah, but back to the lesson. Galatians 3.13 says, Christ had redeemed us. I'll even put my name there. Christ had redeemed TJ from the curse of the law, being made a curse for TJ, for this written curse that wanted to hang on a tree. See, put your name there. Because it's a personal thing. It'll help you to remind what Jesus had done for you. For you. Hallelujah. See, there's nothing precious enough there's nothing worth enough. There's nothing valuable enough to redeem us from the curse of the law right. but the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That's, that's, who, that's what delivered us from the curse of the law. That was the blood. Because he delivered the blood, delivered us from poverty. The blood delivered us from sicknesses. The blood delivered us from from death. The blood of Jesus delivered us from oppression and depression. The blood did it. 
The blood did it. See, his blood, <clears throat> excuse me, his blood washed away every sin, sickness, and disease because one drop of his blood washed it away. Only the blood of Jesus can wash us. It washes away. So when the devil tried to come put you in condemnation by something, say, no, nah, devil, that's under the blood. Yes, I'm, washed, I, it was, I'm washed under the blood. Yes. It was the blood. Romans 8, 1 says, therefore, 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 no condemnation to them in Christ Jesus. I get the truth, therefore, therefore. Let me stop there. You know, it's tired tongue, you know what I mean? Right, right. But that's okay. But see, I always tell them, no, I'm not under condemnation about that because right. I'm redeemed from that. Right. You're not going to put me under condemnation about something that's, that's been washed away. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's washed away, devil. I'm clean. It's over with. It's finished. It's done. <laughs> yes, hallelujah. See, the blood of Jesus don't only just cover us. Like I said, it washes. You know, we could take vanilla ice cream and we could take chocolate and pour over it. But the ice cream is still there. But Jesus is the only, his Jesus blood is the only thing that can wash us. I'm not even going to try to figure it out because I don't know how something red can wash. Okay. Why did it snow? Because I know, I know if, I, if I pick myself right now and blood came out, I'm going to put on my, on my suit here, my jacket, that stain going to be there. Yeah. But because of the blood, yeah. see, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus' blood is like a spot, rem a stain remover. You know how they got this new tie stain stuff that you rub it and the stain is gone? But you know what? The stain of that has not really gone. It's still there. It's just covered. <laughs> it just covers so you can't see it no more. But underneath that, it's still there. But the blood of Jesus, it washes. There's no stain. There's no condemnation about you in any kind of way, form, or fashion. None. Because it's clean. It's gone. It's washed away. There's no evidence of it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, through that one drop, we are able or qualified. I like that, I like that word able because I looked at it in the Bible. The word, when you say able, it means qualified. And because he's able... And because he's qualified, that makes you qualified. <laughs> See, you are qualified too. Yes, you are you qualify. And you are qualified to win in every area of your life right here, right now. Not later, not when you get to heaven, not on the other side and about right now, right here, you can live. Victorious in every area of your life today. This moment tonight, right now, you can't do that. But we have to, we're going to have to come to realization because of the blood, that one drop that Jesus did made me a winner. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I'm a winner. Say, I'm a winner. Because of one drop of Jesus' blood. <laughs> See, God did not create us to be defeated. He did not create us to be defeated. Always cause us to triumph in Christ Jesus. But see, it's got to be in Jesus. There can't be no other way. It's got to be in him that we are winners. So when we step into the ring, we don't have to do nothing but just stand there as a, to show up in the fight, to show up for the fight. <laughs> That's all you gotta do is just show up for the fight. Just, just show up. <laughs> just show up. Hallelujah. Just show up. And you don't have to do anything because he did it already for us. Because of that one drop made us a winner and made us victorious. Hallelujah. You'll overcome over whatever obstacles 
every situation, every circumstances, you will overcome it because of that one drop. And it's always continuously, it's continuous, it's not just one time, it's forever. It's forever. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Father. See, the work of redemption, the work of redemption was done through the blood. What do you mean by that, Brother TJ? Well, because when he shed, when he dropped that, when he shed that blood, redemption was completed. It, it was finished. It's over with. It's done. Because that's why I say Galatians 3.13, he what? Who had redeemed us <clears throat> from the curse of the law. So you are redeemed right now. Right now. Not, not later on, right now. You are redeemed at this time, at this moment, right now. Say, I am redeemed right now. I am redeemed right now. See, notice it's got an ED on the end. Redeemed. That means past tense. <laughs> it's already done. Almost 2,000 years ago, you was redeemed. So anytime you see somebody ED, that means past tense, right? It's already done. You already redeemed. You already delivered. Colossians 1.13 talks about that. Who had delivered us from what? I mean, yeah, from the power. Power of darkness has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. And so we all have some redemption. We have redemption. You have it. So you're already being redeemed. You're already being delivered. But it's because of that one drop. Hallelujah. Because that one drop that you woke up this morning. And, and you got to see me today. <laughs> you got to see me to eat this evening. You got to see me. Hallelujah. Because of that blood. Amen. Hallelujah. What a privilege, huh? <laughs> what a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege. What a privilege for that blood. What a, what a privilege because of that one drop gave us the opportunity to wake up this morning and can look at this beautiful earth. Uh, we look at the earth, we can look at the stars, we can look at the sky, the sun, the moon, we can look at the clouds, the birds, we can look at everything because of that blood. And we are in divine health. Now, I didn't say health, I said we are in divine health because of that one drop. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go to Hebrews 9 12. Hebrews 9 12. He said, how did he hear it me? Whew. Hebrews 9, 12. Not by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. In other words, the blood of, blood of calves and goats and couldn't do nothing for us. It couldn't do nothing. But the blood of Jesus, it could do all things. Because you know why? The blood of Jesus was uncontaminated blood. It was uncontaminated blood. It wasn't contaminated. See, so anything con contaminated, it, it, it doesn't do it but destruction. It, it passes on. But when it's uncontaminated, it's pure and it's perfect. So Jesus' blood was perfect. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise your name, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. See, all we have to do is realize that the power is in the blood of Jesus. The only thing we got to realize, the power is in the blood of Jesus. Because I mean, I see how old people say, the blood, say the blood, the blood of Jesus against you. I, I didn't understand that. I understand now. 
because there was power in that blood. Because if you look at what the children of Israel, when they put the, uh, the blood on the, on the uh, doorpost and the death angel was coming and it passed over because there was power in that blood. So when that death, saw, when that death angel saw that blood, he said, I can't enter that one because it's protected. Right. See, the blood protects you. The blood protects, protects you. It protects you. It watches over you. So I plead the blood over myself. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. I plead the, plead the blood of Jesus over the body of Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus over faith Christian Center Church. I, pray, I, I plead the blood over my family. Because faith Christian Center is my family. You're my family. And, and I love you. And I'm not going to let the devil hurt you. Because <laughs> I'm going to plead the blood. Because I love you. I'm even know I'm doing that. I'm not be telling you all every day and I'm doing it. No, I'm, I'm doing it on, on, on behind the scenes because you're my family. And I got to pray protection over you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise the name, Lord God. Go to John. So remember now, you got to realize the powers in the blood and that he shed that blood once and for all. He don't have to do it anymore. It's done. He don't have to go through it no more. He already done it already. All right, let's go to John chapter 19. Everybody all right? Yeah. You know why you're all right? Because of one drop of his blood. Yeah. <laughs> one drop of his blood, that's why you're all right. You're more than all right. You're victorious. You're above all right. Hallelujah. John 1930. You know, Jesus was on the cross, and that's when they was crucifying him. And... Uh, that's when he's beginning you know, to, uh, to die. And verse 30 says, When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. He bowed his head and gave up the ghost. See, he said, It is finished. It's done with. It's over with. It's complete. See, it wasn't a, it wasn't a shot of defeat. It was a shot of victory. It was a shot of victory. He said, it is finished. It's finished, y'all. It's over with. Y'all don't have to go through that no more. You don't have to do anything. I've done it. It's over. It's complete. It's over with. So now just shout, victory! Hallelujah. Come on, shout, victory! 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 victory. victory. Because it's over with. It's done. We don't have to go through that anymore. And I believe it's in Romans 12 and 7. It was, it was set, the joy was set before him. It was a joy what Jesus did for us. It was a joy. It wasn't no sad thing. It was a joy. Look, you say it was for the joy that he saw. He saw me. He saw you. He saw the world. It is finished, y'all. In Texas term, y'all, it's, it's finished. <laughs> it's over, so y'all don't have to go through that anymore. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we can live victoriously, a victorious life every day and in every way right here right now I found that I can live victorious today I can live victorious on this earth today I can live as an overcomer on this earth today I can triumph over every obstacle every situation today because of one drop because of that one drop made me a conqueror <laughs> Woo. Yeah, made us more than a conqueror. That's what Romans 8 talk about. Say he made us what? More than conquerors through Christ Jesus. See, like I said before, I'm going to remind you again. The word more than a conqueror, what well, the word conqueror means, uh, I did it myself. I, got, I, I get the glory for it because I did it. I didn't have to have no help. I did it. But a more than a conqueror said, I didn't do it. It was the blood of Jesus that did it for me. 
I didn't do it. See, the more the conquer, you go in, which you, which you get, went in with, and you come out with more. <laughs> you overcome. That's right, overcome. So we are overcomers because of the blood. Because of the blood, it makes us sanctify, it sanctify us. Because it, it set us apart for God's use. It justified us. It made us righteous before him because of that one drop. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, the blood speaks to us. We are redeemed from the, from the curse right now and right now and right here right now. Because of the blood, because of that one drop, we are completely redeemed from the curse of the law. See, we don't have to go back under the curse of the law. Just like the children of Israel, when Moses took them out in the wilderness, they were crying because they were out there in the wilderness and everything. They didn't like it because of their, their, um, their environment and because they came out of the, that little comfort zone that they were in. It was something different to them. And they said, well, we, we've got to go back to Egypt. Why would you want to go back to Egypt? You've been crying for 400 something years for, for a deliverer to come and deliver you from this bondage and you want to go back to it? You've been smoking the wrong thing or drinking the wrong thing or something. <laughs> or eating the wrong thing or whatever you've been doing. Something, 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 something to mess your head up. But the sad to say, we, a lot of us is like that. We want to go back to Egypt. For what? Christ said, redeem you from Egypt, from the house of bondage. That's what Egypt means, the house of bondage. Why would you want to go back to bondage? When he had that one, that, that one drop of blood for you to give you your freedom. Amen. Because you are a liberated man. You are a liberated woman. Yeah. Yeah. Some of y'all catch that later. But you are liberated right now. Yeah, right now, liberated. Yeah. Because that blood made you liberate, uh, liberated. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, every drop of Jesus' blood carries the redemption of God. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. So every drop of Jesus' blood did what? Yeah. Redemption of God. See, in the beginning, when God breathed into us, everything that was in God is in us. He breathed redemption in you. He breathed uh, deliverance in you. Yeah. He breathed victory in you. He breathed conquering in you. Con it's in you because he breathed because God is a conquering God. Right. No one cannot be defeat him. Defeat him. No one cannot stand against him because he's mighty. He's powerful. <laughs> he's mighty. He's powerful. And because he breathed in you, you are mighty and you are powerful. You're not no wimp. You're not no coward. You're not a little kitty cat. I'm using a good word here, kitty cat. Because <laughs> when I say the other word, oh, you heard what he said? He said, oh, he, I can't believe he said that. And he said that on national TV. Everybody heard it and saw him say that. Everybody heard that old snagging tooth preacher. <laughs> Ain't got no, lost his teeth in his mouth. He said, you heard what he said? Did you hear that? But you talk more than that. You can't wait till you, to this program. I always say, go back to your thing and say what you always been saying. So I'm just being nice. <laughs> I'm having fun, y'all. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself because you know why? Because of that one drop, I can be happy. I said you can be happy because of one drop. People say, man, you're always happy. I deserve to be happy. They said, why you deserve to be happy? Because what Jesus did for me. I've been redeemed. I've been delivered. I'm a conqueror. I'm an overcomer. That's why I can be happy. I don't have to walk around here and look like a mule. You know, like a mule with a long face. 
And that's how some of us look around, we walk like this, like a, like a mule. They yeah, will praise the Lord, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, glory to God. <laughs> I didn't call no name by the name, so don't, 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 don't mess with me. <laughs> like the old folks are saying, the shoe fit where? That's all I got to say about that one. <laughs> I'm not going to add nothing else to it. Let's go to Revelation 12, 11. Okay. Hallelujah. Revelation 12, 13. Anybody getting anything out of this? So when the devil talk to you, talk to him. Talk to him. He talking to you, talk to him. When sickness come, talk to it. When poverty come, talk to it. When depression come, talk to it. When oppression come, talk to it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Revelation 12 and verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, that they loved not their lives unto death. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto death. So that's how you overcome, is by the confession or the professing of the word of God. That's how you overcome the devil. That's how you come anything, any, any obstacles that comes in your, any barrier that comes in your life, use the word of God. Because you know why? It's got the bow. It's got the bow of the word. Because you are victory, and just say in the, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, yeah. I have victory over this situation. Uh-huh. When you don't know where the money is going to come from, when you don't know when you're going to get the food from, the clothes you need, whatever you need, it's in the blood because he already did it. Thank you. Just speak the word, confess the word of God. Because you see, in, in verse 3, John, uh, the Philippians says that he had given him a name. That's above every name, and at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall what? Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, because it's got to bow down. Luke 17, 6 says, if you have faith as the grains of mustard seed, you shall say, you shall say, you shall say, you shall say unto the sycamore tree, be thou removed, and be thou plucked up, and it's got to return where it come from. Send it back. Because of one drop of that blood has liberated you. So we have no business under the curse. See, the, the devil is like a, a, a spiritual outlaw seeking whom he may devour. But see, he can't devour us. He can't devour you. The only way he can devour you is you let him. Amen. If you let him. See, we overcome. Overcome means we're conquerors. We prevail. We win because of one drop of that blood. We prevail. We overcome. And not only that, we overpower. Thank you, Lord. I never heard that word. But we overpower. Any obstacles, anything that come up, we overpower it because of one drop of that blood, we can overcome it. We overpower that thing. Because you know some of you are, you know some of you, so you know what uh, overpower means. So I'm, I'm going to leave that alone. I ain't going to go there. <laughs> I want to say something, but I'm not. I'm still on the safe side. I'm going to stay in my lane right here. See, I'm, I'm, I'm safe over here in my lane. I don't know we're getting your lane because I, I don't want to bump into you when I say that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway, I want to read something out of the Living Bible. It says, They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the, their testimony, for they did not love their, their lives but laid them down for him. That's the Living Bible of the Revelation 12 11. 
So are you willing to lay your life down for him? They didn't love their own lives. You know, they didn't do it for them, but they was willing to lay down their lives for him. Yeah. Willingly to do it. So are you willing to do the same thing to lay your life down for him? We always want to try to protect our life, but it's not your life anyway. It's his life. Mm-hmm. Your life belongs to him because when for him, you wouldn't have life. Yeah. Because life comes from him. Yeah. You have your being because of him. You move because of him. So it's all about him. It's not about you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. See, he shed his blood for the love of humanity. Right. He shed his blood for the love of humanity. That's how much he loved us. He was willing to shed his blood for us because that's what kind of love he, he has for us, to, to, to really to bleed for us. That's something to think about because he loves you. <laughs> See, I know God loves me. I have no doubt about it. I know he loved me because you know what? I know he loved me just as much as he loved Jesus. I know that he provides for me just as much as he provides for Jesus. I know that he cares for me just as much as he cares for Jesus. I'm important just as much as Jesus. Because if it wasn't for Jesus, I wouldn't be important. Y- yeah, I'm, I'm important. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm saying it. Yes, I am. It's not arrogance. It's the truth. See, a lot of people won't say nothing like that. But I don't know what they think. I don't care what they think about me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Whew, I was worried about what somebody else is going to say. How many minutes I got there? Three. Hallelujah. I got to watch because this time goes by fast, especially when you're having fun. Go to Luke 18. Four, I mean, Luke 4 now. Luke 4, 18. Hallelujah. Just remember, because of one, block, one uh, drop of his blood. Just remember that. One drop of his blood. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Luke 4, 18. Everybody there? He said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he anoint me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recover the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord, verse 19 says. So what he's saying here, he said, I come to set at liberty them that are bruised. See, he was bruised, so you would have to be bruised. You don't have to be bruised. His heart was broken, so yours would have to be broken. When they pierced him in the side, you know, it, 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 it almost pierced his heart. But what I got a revelation out of this thing is when Jesus was piercing his side, all the pressure that came out of Jesus, when they say it was water and blood, but it was pressure to take the pressure off of you. So you don't have to be pushed pressure by anything because Jesus already released it. <laughs> because of that one drop, that one drop of his blood released you. It took the pressure off of you. You know how you got a, uh, a pressure cooker or something, or, you know, you got a, a pot, you put something in, you got this top with a, little, with a hole where the, where the pressure could be released? Because if the pressure don't release, what happens? It'll blow that top right off that pot. So that's why Jesus says, look, you don't have to blow up. <laughs> you don't have to blow up. I done released it already. So you don't have to blow up. Because I already did it for you. Because of my one drop of my blood, I, I released you from that pressure. <laughs> Woo. See, I refuse. See, I refuse to be under pressure. Because Jesus already released the pressure from me. <laughs> say glory. glory. Say glory. glory. 
Say glory, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Praise the name, Lord God. Praise the name, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. See, because the bleeding, when he was bruised, Jesus was bleeding. That's a bleeding. You ever bruise yourself? You ever bruise yourself? But because you know the blood didn't come out, but he was, he was bruised. He was bruised, but the blood, because the blood was on the inside. See, Jesus was blue, bruised on the inside. He was in, on the inside. We don't have to be bruised no more. He was bruised and crushed on the inside to change us on the outside. He did it because of one drop. <laughs> because of one drop, hallelujah. Yes. One drop of his blood. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in Hebrews 9.22, you know, we, talk, we already talked about it. It says that what, for the, without the shedding of blood, there's what, no remission of sin. The only thing that allows us to pass from death to life is by the blood of Jesus. It was by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, Hebrews 13, 12, it talks about the only way to get remission from, from, notice that the only way to get remission from is by the blood of Christ. That's the only way you get forgiveness. That's the only way you get pardon is by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, we, we made it, y'all. We made it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Let's raise our hands and say, Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the victory. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for redemption. Thank you for overcoming. I win. I do not lose. I win. I refuse to be defeated in Jesus' name. Thank you for that drop. Thank you for that drop. In Jesus' name, thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord.